The Galactic Free Press Update. The New Earth has arrived for complete activation. Bringing humanity home, energy and event update. Greetings, love beings. Welcome to another day in the age of Aquarius, the golden age in which we truly have entered. We are about to arrive into a new year 2013, and for some of you, you already have. This is the year we begin the co-creation of the new earth, and this will unfold in the oneness energies. Many changes will be occurring this year as the inner transforms to the outer. Be present and enjoy, and it will be a smooth ride. Quoted from Mike Quincy and Salusa. The 21st December alignment took place, and you have commenced the new age with a higher level of consciousness. It will enable you to accelerate the process of ascension, and you will see changes taking place in quick succession. Everything you have been led to expect to herald the new age in will still occur with a greater backing than before, as the way ahead is now virtually clear. Events will now flow much more smoothly, and we, and we can assure you that the work you have put in to bring the light and love to people has had tremendous results. Naturally, Mother Earth has also ascended, and will go ahead and work with you to bring the New Age into being. There have been few incidents of people having to leave the Earth, and that is a credit to the lightworkers who have worked so hard to bring all souls into the light. We are pleased to note that it has released the tension and doubts that some people held because they were so concerned about friends or family. It holds great hope for those souls who have hitherto been unaware of the importance of the new period that you have moved into. We are, of course, close to you most of the time, but rarely show ourselves, but that will also change in time. There is to be a coming together and eventually you will be joined by us, the Masters, and your family from the Inner Earth. It will be quite a time of celebration, and the whole world will know we have arrived. Nothing ever happens by chance, but will follow each divine edict. There are powerful beings that carry out the Word of God without question, but we do understand your doubts and difficulties when things do not seem to go to plan. Yet all events will come to be and fulfill the promises that have been made. It is known to be so as all exists in the now and simply waits for the right time to manifest. Meaning that when it's going to be of the maximum benefit to your civilization. What is to occur is clearly not just for those who have already awakened, but perhaps in some ways it's directed even more strongly at those who still slumber. Now that the lower vibrations are disappearing, they are being given a gentle push and reminder that they have their own crossroads. They must make a firm decision as to what they want to do, otherwise they will be unable to make progress into the new age. It is their choice on a higher level, they subconsciously know what is at stake. Let me say that it will not be long before many of you look back at this time and find the proof of your ascension by recognizing the changes in yourself. You will also see it in your friends and your family and realize that they are creating a more peaceful aura around them. As the higher energies continue to arrive on earth, their effect will be there for all to see, as humanity will reach out in love and bring powerful energies of light to bear upon those who are still held in the darkness. The ascension process still proceeds as powerful as ever, and our love will be with you all the way. End of quote. The signs of the changes will be appearing more and more for those who are awake. As we have shared, the old story is done. The new one is beginning. We have just begun in these new earth energies, and there is only up and forward from here for those who are awake. As these intense energies come in, 
Humanity will be adjusting to these new frequencies one way or the other. Mother Earth Equal Heart is now existing in the 5D frequencies and the new Earth has arrived for complete activation by all of you to co-create in. All has been successfully installed and the old matrix will be falling quickly as the energy sources for them to feed off will be dissolving. Once this is complete, it will be humanity's turn to rise to this occasion. Some of you have, some of you are just beginning, and some of you are getting to it, we suppose. Quoted from Zen Gardner, We're undergoing an amazing transformation, absolutely diametrically opposed to the constant, gradual attempts by elitists to shut down humanity via eons of engineered subjugation. We're being consciously and vibrationally liberated by the very nature of the universe in spite of all their efforts. It's not readily apparent to most, but it's very clear there. It's subtle yet obvious at the same time. Knowledge of this change or shift in consciousness is experiential. It appears in the form of social, social trends and changes. But once someone crosses the threshold of awakening, they're already living in the new, new reality. To what degree it affects their lifestyle will, of course, vary from person to sp person, but change they will. As will the lives they, in turn, affect. And so it unfolds. This ugly matrix that they've been shoe that we've been shoehorned into is a very complex, controlling, nasty thing. And it can't hold up by the very manufactured nature of it. It's not real. It's created by ugly forces to harness and abuse others for its own satisfaction. No way it can last in the face of an inherently loving and natural creative universe. Much like Earth. As hard as they try to control it for their own devices, Gaia will win out in the long run. This is the reason they're working feverishly to clamp down on humanity, and it always backfires. Little do they know they're accelerating their own downfall and humanity's awakening. The more freedoms they take away, the more people wake up to what they had and want it back. More than that, the more step back and ask how things got this way, and how far back does this go? That, my friends, is the recipe for awakening. You got questions? Well, the universe has answers. Clearly, the momentous galactic alignment and the shift out of the Piscean Age we're experiencing is both symbolic and largely casual of our awakening and changeover into a new golden era, the one foretold by many a seer. After all, it's a cycle. Or should I say, spiral? Hmm. Perfectly put. I'll end this with some quintessential David Icke, where he's speaking about this wonderful shift we're undergoing. This awakening is for everyone, so please pass it on. End of quote. Quoted from Cobra, 2013, the pathway home is open. Quoted from Beth Trutwin, a major shift is happening, and those attuned can be uplifted, be in joy. The planets who are current members of the Intergalactic Confederation of Worlds are elated at the success of Ascended Earth. There are many trillions of our galactic family from home celebrating the new Earth of 2013. We are in a period of change. As your midnight approached, there was a very good opportunity for all of us to move forward exponentially. It had to do with leaving the old behind. You hold the keys to your freedom. You may now look forward to a complete transformation of ego. End of quote. Many continue to experience these new earth energies in very unique ways to them. Staying in the present moment of now, in the eternal flow, you will find yourself in peaceful waters and feelings of joy. The old is fading fast. Any unconsciousness, ego, will not be able to withstand in these new earth energies. We don't know how quickly this change will take place. 
as always, we place our energies on the highest outcome and a smooth, effortless transition into the new paradigm. Quoted from Wes Anik. Indeed, I have not been simply sitting around and then suddenly feeling an etheric perception of our fifth dimensional earth. I have put the soul growth work in, and I have worked so very hard to attune to our fifth dimensional energies, and having done so, I can continue to reiterate with happiness that they are stronger than they have ever been, and they are not going anywhere. The, the experience I'm about to de detail below has certainly helped solidify this understanding in myself, though it was already quite solidified. I've been meditating every single day since the 21st alignment began, and honestly, I don't even see it as a meditation anymore. I see it as a simple attunement, and with each meditation, I'm exposed to pure and pure energies that the sheer awesomeness of has overwhelmed me quite a bit. I believe some have been talking about the apparent fleeting experience of bliss they had during the 21st that now seems to have left them. And I say that it hasn't left me. It is very much still here, and every meditation reminds me of that. Now, I must detail quite an amazing experience I had last night during meditation. Again, during meditation, I've been attuning to energies that just amaze me, and being open to multidimensional travels within myself that I receive these messages. being open to multidimensional travels within myself, that I receive impressions of via my third eye, I've been able to experience amazing places that I make my effort to attune to. Recently after the 21st, I felt myself existing within our fifth dimensional earth and actually came into contact with the fifth dimensional aspect of my higher self, or as some would call him, my future self. I've still been able to visit that brimming land since it seems that our fellow light workers are still attuning to it and creating upon it as well. Because I've been chucking up on it, and I have to say that it looks quite amazing. I've also recently felt myself merge quite literally with the very energies of source, of oneness, of our Creator, in the purest form I have ever felt, and it was truly a life-changing experience. The experience I had last night matches those detailed above in the amount of positivity and assuredness of our ascension, and the light forces helping to bring our ascension about. It has garnered in me. I remember getting up on the stage and delivering what seemed to be the most heartfelt, inspiring speech because I felt very strong emotions arise in myself as I felt myself giving it. I don't remember much of what I said, but I do remember that at times there would be an immense applause and or laughter at something I had said. The Plidians were very much like the Sedona crowd, so respectful, so loving, and so happy to hear me speak. And I was, of course, speaking to the largest crowd of people I had ever spoken to. I can remember saying something along the lines of, I do not have the perspective that you all do, but I know that what is happening is real, and that everything we've worked so hard for is about to come forth. I don't know what you guys know, but I can feel that we are nearer than ever before to achieving our goal. Immense applause, I can remember after saying that. Of course, the above segment from my apparent speech is paraphrased. I remember telling them that the collective of Earth are increasingly opening up and finding enlightenment, and that their presence on our world will be widely accepted and greatly appreciated. Speaking for the Lightworker Collective, 
I remember telling them that I understand the delays and the seeming non-manifestations and that I understand as well the importance of working myself to find the experiences I wish to find. It was just so neat. As usually, they are speaking through me to the Earth Collective, and now it seemed that I was speaking to their collective. Overall, the apparent speech seemed to be one of encouragement and upliftment, and it was delivered to a general assembly of the Plidian councils, who were very, very enthusiastic. I can also remember everybody's auras. Their entire bodies were glowing, and the focal point of this hue seemed to be their heart chakras, which I can also remember were radiating out the most wonderful energies I had ever felt. Overall, the message I wish to deliver is that our ascension process has indeed reached a heightened phase, and we're now being given the choice to either embrace it, when, and when doing so may feel its hardest, or to turn away from it and eventually refind it, as well, always will. Personally, even if I wanted to ditch my light work or my developing ascension, which I absolutely don't, I wouldn't be able to. The energies are just too strong, and I would likely find it another amazing experience that would pull me right back in. This is because I know without a shred of doubt that our ascension is real. I know it, and I can feel it. I will continue to be given validations, and in the face of disbelief or, or detractions, I will buzz right through the doubt in myself that would attempt to garner and continue on in a process that I have enjoyed every bit of. Wes Anik, learning, growing, and experiencing aspects of the higher realms. End of quote. We have another incoming alignment with Sirius this evening at midnight to assist in the opening hearts and in the pouring of more love and into the opened hearts, as well as will be intense for those still sleeping. This is why they call this alignment either the Shining One or the Scorcher. This is perfect as we will be able to assist in this energy with many people celebrating the new year in. Quoted from Carol M. Sieko, Around midnight local time on New Year's Eve, the triple star Sirius, the brightest fixed star in our sky, is found directly overhead on the midheaven, infusing the earth with its starry energy. Because Sirius is the brightest star in our sky, in antiquity it was known as the Shining One or the Scorcher. The Egyptians called Sirius Isis and built their calendar around the rising and setting of this magnificent star. In addition, the Egyptians felt that Sirius could bring more eternity to humans. Gaia Portal Update Channels of 5D energy have widened upon Gaia. These widened channels part of a process of Gaia upliftment into 5D, sensation of floating and or not being present in 3D are currently the norm. As these sensations are embraced as much as possible, infusion of 5D energies into Gaia occurs. Humanity, the smallest, dissolves, and humanity awakens. End of quote. It's all a matter of moments now as there is nowhere to go for the denser energy or lower vibrational thoughts on the planet. These waves of love continue to pour in, and we are continuing to shift. Embracing these new, new Earth energies will be expanding your energy fields, which will connect with all the other oneness energy fields across the planet. This is the next facet of the divine plan as we move into unity consciousness. The foundation has been laid. All is ready and activated. Those who are ready are at the front of the lines of the light on this planet and are becoming activated on the web of light. Decreed by heaven, the next fast the divine plan has been activated. All installations for the co-creation of the new earth are complete. The matrix of the old will be collapsing more rapidly. This is the divine plan manifesting now on planet earth equal heart. Thank you for spreading these messages to others and keeping your hearts open and staying tuned in. And transmission in all love is unconditionally. We are so in love with humanity. Love the Galactic Free Press staff, 
Humanities Earth Allies, the Company of Heaven, and the First Contact Ground Crew Team.